The first time I walked in, it was just like, wow, look at the size of it. Every customer is different, but their general requirement is they need their piece of equipment back up as soon as possible. This is just a very, very different way of processing the work. It's more of a production line environment than a standard service mentality. It's more about volume, just being able to process the work a lot quicker without having to wait for things to happen. My name's David Poulton, I'm the General Manager of Western Australia. My name is Dean Finch, I work at Veriton Super Centre and I'm a hydraulic fitter. Our main focus is just cylinders. It's a different mindset from the service job mentality. The process is quite fluid. The workflow, the way it's been designed, everyone's now got their own section to work in. The whole process of someone stripping it then gets moved into another section for assessing and then it's machining and then it's for the assembly. The fact is it's 3,000 square metres of floor space. We've got two 20 tonne overhead gantry cranes. We've also got custom manufactured front suspension benches which make it more efficient and safer for us to put them together and test them and build them. We have up to 140,000 newton metres of uh, nut busting capability. And we've also streamlined the process, so we have the hot caustic washes to clean the components, custom built racking and specially designed benches to do other work. And just the ease of, for the transport as well, where they've got the, the one in one out system. You know, it makes it easier for our guys to unload the lorries and it obviously makes it easier for the drivers too, which speeds up the process again. We have service exchange fleet of cylinders which they ring up, they get a cylinder from us, they can swap them core straight off the machine, cylinder in place, they're up and running. We've got all procedures, we get um, drawings and uh, information packs when we're assembling the cylinders. So it tells you exactly how it goes together with all the torque settings, all new nuts and fittings and everything else. It's all OEM parts that are used. Um, which is imperative to make sure it, come, it goes out as if it's literally been bought from the manufacturer. Before anything gets taken apart, uh, the cylinder will have four photos taken, so we know that we can always refer back to it at port orientation and what's on that cylinder. It then goes into the stripping section and every single component as it's pulled apart has a photo taken of it. That then gets uploaded to Front Runner. It then goes into the assessing stage and again, more photos are taken. Everything laid out on the desk so you can see a clear picture of all the components. Internal barrel, rod, eyes, clevises, everything's photographed and a re record of it is then submitted to the customer so they can understand what the repair service is offering. And then again, photos are taken on the assembly process through the testing process. Um, they get a 10 minute readout if they request it. Um, and a full test report is now attached to the cylinders when they're being dispatched. You need to know what's happened to your cylinder. It's transparency for customers to be able to understand why this system's failed and what we're doing to ensure that it goes back in a full working order. The growth strategy for the group is to actually build capacity so we can actually service our customers a lot better, a lot more efficiently and be more proactive in the marketplace to actually turn cylinders around faster for them. I think this should be the standard. Sometimes you've got to step out into the deep blue sea to take a bold step and get everyone to follow. We like to lead from the front, that's what we do.